At Interstate State Park, standing at the park's glacial potholes, which draw almost 400,000 people every year to the park. Um, and where you're standing is the evidence of a story that goes back about a billion years here in Minnesota. And it's one that's surprising. What's underneath your feet at this moment is ancient lava. So if you were standing here a billion years ago, the Earth's crust was actually splitting in between Minnesota and Wisconsin. And out of the cracks in the Earth's crust, we call this big formation the Mid-Continent Rift, lava is escaping, and as it cools and hardens, it turns into the basalt rock, the rock underneath your feet there. So you have the opportunity here not only to reach out and touch something that's over a billion years old, but you can stand on top of ancient lava, which is a pretty fantastic thing in Minnesota to be able to do. Actually, when some of these potholes get cleared out, we find all kinds of items that were left behind by visitors accidentally or on purpose, and they become sort of these time capsules, you know, a peek into the past of what visitors have been like over the years here. So these are what we call grindstones, and they were basically spinning, regular lumpy bumpy rocks, spinning in that swirling sand and water that made the potholes, and it was like a giant rock tumbler. And this one actually was given the name the bottomless pit, because it took so long for workers to get to the actual bottom of it. But you can imagine the smell down in there, they'd been there for a while, they said it's bottomless, so it goes on forever. And we are at Angle Rock in the park, and this is my absolute favorite scenic overlook to take folks out to. And not only do you get a chance to see Minnesota Interstate State Park, you've got Wisconsin Interstate State Park across the river there. So you have this unique, beautiful landscape that's been set aside so you and I can get a chance to visit it today. And what a great way to, to see the river, to see this area. Angle Rock in particular just provides this unbelievable viewpoint of the St. Croix, which was moving yesterday. Oh, yeah. Uh, and it was just, uh, it was really cool to get out there and get a nice peek of that. I want to show you another view of the river here from uh, Grant, our photographer, who is not quite on Angle Rock, but he's right behind us. And you get a sense for just the massiveness. And you think about, you know, it's hard not, especially when you get that history lesson from Jenny. How powerful the water is yeah. just cutting away yeah. at the rock. Yeah. It's so cool. It's absolutely stunning here. And the pothole trip, so good uh, for families. There are a couple of steps you go up and down, but we saw lots of, lots of kids out here. Just really, you'd look up at the 160 foot. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, you can go down to the bottom of the bake oven, which I think is about 30 feet 30 down. Feet for that one, and you yeah. can look up. And uh, you have to be careful, kind of hold on to your belongings around the glacial potholes. They said they clean these things out <laughs> every few years, yeah. and they have found things going back 80, 90 years, like old Cracker Jack rings in those uh, oh, potholes. Wow. So hold on to your sunglasses, but uh, kind of a cool thing to see. Oh, I think that you've just all convinced us that we need to take a trip. Looks beautiful. Thank you, guys. Thank you. It's close. Come on up. Yeah, only an hour away or so yeah. from the Twin Cities.